Hello guys, this is Tin Man. Hey, um, <clears throat> sorry that I haven't been to the group for for quite a few days. Actually, more than a week. So I just want to give you an update. But before I do that, I want to welcome everybody who are new to the group. So I hope you enjoy the group. There's so many beautiful photos here, and I hope that uh, you would also share some of your photos and feel free to ask any questions too. Uh, I'm sure that um, there are many who would love to answer your questions, including myself. So, uh, so awesome. Um, I forgot to click on the button. All right. So let me see if I'm here. Okay. Oh, I am. Okay, cool. Um, just turn off my voice. All right, hey Brad. <laughs> so, um, uh, <laughs> so I still don't know what happened this past week. Uh, so, if any of you who are experts in uh, the medical field, maybe you can help me to resolve that problem. So, um, so last Thursday, I uh, I went to um, Huntington, Be Huntington Beach uh, in Los Angeles with a good friend. So uh, a good friend, uh, his name is uh, Jia. He's also in my coaching program, a uh, very good friend. So he was uh, visiting. So I went to uh, Huntington Beach to uh, shoot some turns with him. And, um, and I also uh, knew that my good friend Tang and Salah would be there. So I just planned to go. So anyway, so, so I decided to go at... Um, 4 p.m. right just uh, as I mentioned to you I, I only go go to shoot at the good times right so sunset is at about 7 30 so I thought if I go at 4 I arrive at around 5 and then uh, I have to walk about a mile to get to the spot so <clears throat> by the time I get there the light should be pretty good right hey K Candy hey Becky so um so I just went so it was just a uh, pretty regular day and um and I had my, I just brought one lens, uh, just my 402.8, because uh, I just wanted to test it out. So I, I, as I, I, I mean, it was just a normal day. I had uh, salmon and some broccoli as lunch. I drank enough water. Everything was fine. And um, so as I walk over there, um, it was still pretty early. So I chat with some of my friends uh, and then I, uh, walk down a little bit so that I get eye level. I, I sat on the rock and I uh, put the lens hood to my 402.8 and I was just sitting there with uh, the elbow resting on my on my knee and then I started to take photos, right? So within five minutes, <laughs> it was just so embarrassing to tell you guys, but uh, anyway, so, so within five minutes of uh, taking photos, I remember uh, my good friend Tang was next to me and then Salah was uh, uh, next to me. And, you know, both of them are really, really good uh, shooters. So, uh, uh, so I was shooting and shooting. And then after five minutes, I suddenly wanted to puke. <laughs> I just had this nausea. So I was uh, uh, breathing and then I stopped taking photos. And they were looking at me and they were wondering what I was doing. And I said, oh, no, no, you guys keep shooting. And then I just lean back uh, onto these rocks, right? Trying to, just just trying to get better at that. But the, that nausea feeling just didn't go away. So I thought, um, well, forget it. I'm just gonna uh, take a walk, right? So, so I guess uh, Salai and Tang probably thought that uh, this this guy Tin Man is too picky, right? When the action is not good, then he's not even shooting, right? But now he's not. I actually really enjoyed uh, <clears throat> being out there. But uh, anyway, so I, I walk up back to the trail and I was just trying to like breathe deep, like, you know, like uh, you guys know the feeling, right? It's like you, you, you suddenly drink too much and then you want to puke and then you were trying to hold your like keep breathing softly and deeply so that you you wouldn't you wouldn't puke right so i was just kind of uh, walking back and forth and then uh, just trying to breathe and breathe and for 30 minutes uh, that feeling was just killing me and i was like what's going on and i and i was thinking maybe um <clears throat> the salmon that i was eating was not too fresh or whatever i don't know and uh, anyway, so I, I, I kept walking and, and that feeling finally went away, right? So I said, okay, finally, I, I, don't, I didn't want to puke anymore. And, uh, and at the time, actually, um, I, I decided to um, go back to shoot and I actually got, got a photo like that. I actually took a selfie. So this is the kind of photo I, I, I went out to take. So you guys should uh, 
should take a look here. <coughs> so I took this photo right here. It's uh, it's pretty good, right? <laughs> um, <coughs> so um, so it's a selfie with a uh, egret. So anyway, so um, <coughs> uh, jokes aside. So <coughs> after after that. Um, I, I no longer felt like I wanted to puke, but all of a sudden, um, I had this uh, rash, like hives all over my body. It's like my, my whole body and my face turned red, and then all this rash coming up, and it was super itchy. And I was like, oh my God, what's happening? I kept scratching everywhere. My finger touches, it became these big, big pieces of uh, rash. And um, it was just, I was sweating like crazy, and it was super itchy, and it was just... Just, it's, it's almost like you you are being uh, bitten by those uh, fire ants. <laughs> it was just terrible. So that kind of rash uh, lasted for maybe uh, another 10, 15 minutes, and then it finally slowed down. And uh, at the time, I thought <laughs> it's, it's probably not a good day to shoot. And um, and but then because the light was pretty good, so I I make sure that my friend was able to because he he was coming down from San Francisco, so I make sure that he he got a few shots. And then I said, yeah, maybe we should just just head back to the to the vehicle. So uh, so I, I put put my backpack, uh, put my lens back into my backpack, and we began to walk. And my the car was parked about a mile away. So we walk and walk and everything was okay. The, the sunset was beautiful and all. And um, and uh, we walked for about a mile and it was just about 100 feet away from my vehicle, from my car, right? And 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 by, that, by then the, the light was pretty dark. I mean, uh, it was kind of dark and all. And then I said, hold on a second. I, I may just need to take a break, right? So I just leaned on the side of the fence, right? I, we were still on the trail. And just right when I <coughs> stopped, walking and started to lean on the, the fence. It's like my, my fingers started to feel this tingling sensation. And then it's just spread like my whole arm was numbed. And then, then it turns into my face. Like below my eyes all the way to my neck is tingling and numbed and even up to my tongue. And I had this difficulty in breathing and I just had to pull the, the face mask and then I started to, to breathe, but it was just really difficult. And then everywhere surrounding me just turned completely black and I knew that I was going to pass out. And I, and I, and I told my friend, uh, John, I said, I, I may have to uh, sit down a little bit. And then uh, he just helped me with the backpack and all. And just when I sat down, like everything just turned like completely black. And uh, it was just, so it's just, just uh, as my friend was telling me, it's just like a baby hike. <laughs> just uh, usually, I mean, I, I went into uh, Alaska hiking for 10 miles and going to all these places. Nothing happened, right? But just in, in a beautiful Huntington Beach when I was hiking for a mile and I just collapsed. And um, so I was just basically lying down on in the middle of the trail and people were walking by and... Um, and uh, and Jia gave me some some food uh, with some uh, sugar in it and some water to drink and uh, and and that numbing sensation lasted for like thirty minutes and uh, it was it was really scary because I I had such difficulty in breathing and um, just couldn't like I can only see like kind of the middle of the focus and everything was just black out. I don't, don't really know what's, what's going on. But anyways, uh, <laughs> so so um, so uh, after 30 minutes, I was okay and then uh, got back to the car and then I drove home and um, and I thought everything would be okay. I took some um, uh, uh, sign tag, right? The, the, the thing that, uh, that uh, Jia gave me <clears throat> for anti-allergy um, uh, uh, or something. But anyway, so... After that, that night I had a high fever. It's like just rose to like one hundred two Fahrenheit, and then uh, and then since then I've been having fever, and right now I'm still fighting it. Uh, it's just crazy. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I didn't have any uh, breathing difficulty or anything. So uh, one thing is um, maybe is the food poisoning uh, by the salmon. Uh, second, uh, I uh, guess is maybe is some bug bite that I didn't know. And um, the third is maybe I step on some um, plant poison, poisonous plant or something, and uh, plus some dehydration, and probably um, I don't know um, um, sunstroke because it was really hot that day. <laughs> anyways, anyways, I survived, and um, uh, just to let you guys know, that's why I didn't, I uh, wasn't here for the last few days. I was basically sleeping twenty hours a day in the bed and fighting the 
the the fever um but uh what else so i just want to let you guys know that uh when you go out especially uh, if you are in california or anywhere that is hot just make sure that um uh, Uh, you go with a friend, <laughs> uh, and just be very careful. Make sure to drink a lot of water and electrolytes. I don't know what else I could have done to avoid that uh, poisoning of the the food or anything, but it was just uh, terrible. Like for 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 a moment, I thought I I was gonna go straight into the hospital. So um, so anyway, so so that's what happened. But um, one thing that was uh, very interesting that I wanted to share with you was uh, uh, while I was on the trail, while while I was on the trail standing, uh, when everybody else were uh, taking photos, I was just breathing and breathing. And then uh, there was a gentleman who walked close to me, and uh, he said, um, oh, "Are you Tin Man?" And I said, uh, "Yeah," uh, because I was wearing my mask, right? And uh, and and uh, his name is Scott, right? By the way, if Scott, if you are here, hello. <laughs> so uh, he sent me an email afterwards, and I haven't replied for for a while. But, uh, but anyway, so so Scott uh, said that, oh, I didn't know that you 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 are the Tin Man. <laughs> is that I actually watch every single one of your Facebook live and all your videos. I'm a big fan, and I have so much that I want to discuss with you of photography and stuff. And then he he say around. I mean, it it actually helped a little bit because I was able to. Got distracted a little bit for the breathing and all, but it also helps me to know that there were actually people who like you who actually watch my Facebook live and uh, found values in it. So I'm very happy for that. I'm very thankful for your support. Um, so so yeah. So so Scott, thank you very much, and um, and and also of course uh, Jia who basically saved my life. Uh, if if not, if were not you, <laughs> probably may have gone unconscious. And uh, it, was, it was it was getting really dark too, so it was. Uh, Pretty dangerous, and I knew that there were rattlesnake and and all kind of um, uh, all kinds of <laughs> insects and stuff over there too. So who knows uh, what's gonna happen there? So um, so yeah, just wanted wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, anything can happen <laughs> in the in the wilderness, and um, yeah. So just be safe out there, and uh, I will probably I hope I'll get better in the next few days, and uh, I will do more live and all. And um, if you're new, welcome to the group. Make sure to uh, watch uh, some of my <laughs> uh, videos and um, um, just just share more photos. And uh, yeah, welcome to the world of bird and wildlife photography here. So yeah, so Angie, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a close call. It's crazy. It was just I, I I was totally okay. I was still snapping photos of sunsets. And um, just w once I stopped. I, I guess it was all the um, adrenaline rushing, uh, you know, because of the uh, the rash and the hives. I think it is also uh, uh, something fighting for the uh, food poisoning or something. So my body was already fatigued, so I shouldn't have walked so fast back to my car. I should have just, take, but I wasn't even walking fast, so I don't even know what's going on. So. Uh, It was just crazy. So just say like, stop, and and the the numbing sensation was uh, pretty scary too because uh, it's it's like it's getting cold, and then that this like like it's like needles pinching your your fingers, and and even my tongue was numbed. So yeah, it was crazy. So so yeah, hey Jackie, yeah I know. Um, yeah, so life can be so fragile. Right, we just better appreciate any any moment because um, even afterwards uh, when my fever was just went going out crazy like when I went back uh, I measured the temperature it rose for like at one degree and I thought I was okay and then uh, the next time I checked it jumped like to 102 and uh, yeah and you never know what's gonna happen yeah so hey Jeff thanks yeah uh, and, and Warren yeah thanks thank you Beth thank you uh, well I hope I recover Because uh, I've read some news that people would get this fever and back and forth, so who knows? So hey, Helen, hey, TD. So, so anyway, so just a, just a quick um, uh, update. You know, it sucks because I have my new microphone, I have my new wallpaper, I even have a new webcam. So I kind of gonna switch between the webcam and my uh, digital SLR so that you have different effects and everything. Uh, but. <laughs> didn't have time to to do it because once you're down just there is no strength to do anything no, all these ideas or anything you just couldn't do an anything like that so so yeah so just guys and girls uh be safe out there uh make sure you always drink a lot of water and electrolytes and uh, don't starve yourself and if you felt exhaustion um 
um, when you hike, just make sure that you have a friend next to you. So if, in case anything happens, at least they can call 911 and get help. So uh, I, I had this close call that was totally unexpected because unexpected because I've been training every day. I've been like riding my bike for 40 minutes a day and like, eating super healthy and uh, like you know, but but you just never know. And and I thought I I was always the one who drinks the most water too. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, Donna. Hey. Yeah. I don't remember what what was I allergic to? It was just very strange. I I thought it was the salmon, but I'm gonna clean out clean out my whole fridge, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Hey, Deborah. You mean I gotta come see you? Yeah. I I may have to um check my blood and uh, go see a doctor soon. So yeah. But uh yeah. All right. So so yeah. So um good to see you guys again. So um. Uh, Hope that this live can go on again soon. But uh, for the time being, I'm gonna just take take a break. <laughs> no, maybe for another day or two to see how how it works. All right. Okay. Very good to see you guys, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, hope you enjoy my selfie that you might have missed earlier. So hey, hey Dan, David. So see you guys. <laughs>